this was the first day proceeding um, in this bankruptcy, and the goal of the first day is to take immediate action to be sure that the company that's seeking to go through a reorganization is able to function day to day. And that was accomplished today, and they'll continue to function under the rules of the bankruptcy court now. But they can pay their employees, and they can live up with their contracts, and, and they can pay their vendors and get their supplies, and uh, we move to the next step. The current plan and the protocol that we've been working on that, that we're supporting is that the entire value of Purdue LP and all its U.S. operations will be turned over to a trust or a new company or a new entity to deal with it as they deem best, whether it's break it up and liquidate it, whether it's operated under entirely new rules, whether it's to um, split it up and, and operate, we don't know. That'll be part of the process. But it, the value that the opioid epidemic receives is going to come in large part from what the value of Purdue is. So, yes, we want to preserve the good part of the business. The bankruptcy will proceed with all creditors in it as long as there's a chance to reorganize the company and to to um, come out with a, an agreement. If there's a point in time, if there can't be an agreement, you can't. The company can't survive, and the company goes into liquidation and um, disappears. The Sacklers have committed personally to put in a minimum of three billion dollars in the settlement that's over here that's being considered in the bankruptcy court. Um, there is no stay at the current time and. I'm sure there will be some discussions in the near future as to how the, uh, that's going to get handled, and there may very well be a motion practice started to try to stay actions against the Sacklers, but that's for another day. That wasn't discussed today and wasn't part of today's activity.